Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ITL. Oh, this week. Well, you've seen this week early, earlier this week. Well, actually, I put two videos up this week with me being on the goat. Yes, I did make it out on riding the goat. But, but saying that with the weather and everything coming down, it's not that I'm going to be doing that too, 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 too much. I'm going to do it whenever I can. Let's just put it that way. Um, I still got a ways to heal yet, so it's like, uh, just because I rode doesn't mean I'm healed up all the way. I mean, that, that's what, what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm still feel, I'm feeling the weather greatly, actually. I thought I was feeling a lot more than I did, though. You know, I'll come to an explanation on that a little bit. Ah, uh, but yeah, the, uh, I did get two videos in. It was nice. It was, uh, I really, really enjoyed the ride. Freaking... The little gnat bugs are out and about like fury today. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I was a really, really enjoying ride up and back to where I was at going to. And, uh, I mean, the only thing I say is, I mean, it felt really good. And, no, I didn't hurt myself. And uh, I knew it wasn't going to hurt myself because whenever I said I was taking it easy, uh, taking it easy in my eyes is... Riding a teeny bit slower, uh, thinking about what I'm going to, what I'm doing next. Not using that left leg to mainly to hold the bike up whenever I come to the next stop, and things like that. Um, so it's it's a it, it's it entails quite a bit for a person that's healing up actually. But um, I just the, the, which leads me into what I wanted to talk about on this ITL this this week. And like I said, you can still tell around me the weeds are dying off. It's it is um it's fall. It's fall. Colder weather is setting in. Actually I, I love my I love the seasons in my area. It's western Pennsylvania. I mean I it's just it's home for home to me. This time of year, I'll be, I'll be out in the woods hunting as a child, and uh, because we would have all the, all the, basically, if not all the crops were off the field, we, um, we were just finishing it up, and I'm talking about hay, the doing the hay and stuff like that. Um, but as far as the season, well, let's talk a little bit about uh, what to expect if you're not used to riding in this season what to expect into the next into winter time um first place if you're going to ride into this type of season and you're going to ride in the cold weather you have to I, I say dress for this dress for the weather i layer and people some people don't layer i layer uh, and that entails i mean I, I mean i put even long underwear on i put different thicknesses of uh Of clothing on different heaviness, different qual uh, different qualities. I don't like using polyester at all, unless I absolutely have to. They don't breathe. They don't wick. Um, I do use those stockings. I do use stockings, and that, and believe it or not, I learned that as, from a, a hunter when I was a kid. Uh, he he, had, he told me he said you get some uh, women's stockings and put on your legs. And I'm, I did the next uh, the next season, and I was surprised. How much warmer I was with them, and they were able to breathe, but yet you're you're keeping and they they wick the moisture. You're able to wick the moisture away from them, from your legs. I mean, it was just so much warmer. So I, I do wear those occasionally. Um, I mean, layer. If your bike doesn't have some equipment that kind of help you out, definitely layer. Good heavy winter gloves. I don't have mine with me, or I would show you them. They're old, old, heavy leather insulated gloves i need a new pet need to replace them because of, well, the, the fingers are wearing out finally after 20 something years um you noticed in my videos that i'm, I'm no longer i don't the last videos i wasn't wearing my riding jacket the riding jacket is fantastic my riding jacket's a three season jacket really you can get away with riding it in a little bit cooler weather i'm saying 50s maybe to the mid 40s and not be too 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 bad because it's got a, a, a liner in it, but it's not really good. I mean, it's like wearing a, well, as I mentioned, Raven, on one of the hangouts you mentioned to us, you're wearing a screen door. I mean, it's perforated. 
And it's like, yeah, I, I, I can see that. That's why I changed to my um, winter jacket. This is actually, you see, this is a hunting jacket. I see it as a winter jacket. So I'm from a hunter. All jackets are jackets. This jacket actually it, it takes a liner, and I layer underneath that. Um, is it going to help me a whole lot if I go down? No, I ain't going to. I mean, impact wise, it's my riding jacket would do, do a lot better because it has the armor in it. But I'd. If you're cold, you're bound to make more mistakes. And if I'm warm, I can, I mean, I'm more alert. I can, I can, I can do things quicker. Because you start getting stiff and you get cool, cold. Um, but yeah, and another thing is these things. You have to worry about these things when they fall off the trees, the leaves. I mean, you might see leaves on the side of the road. That le those leaves can be slicker than ice. So you watch that. So you, you you watch what you do whenever you're around them. Uh, you'll find, uh, in my area especially, United States, you'll find uh, nuts all over the road. <laughs> Try to avoid those as much as possible. Those can throw you off on a bike. Um, I mean, there's so much hazards that come about on us whenever we're riding into this type of season. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't put your bike away, but I'm not saying you really should either. I mean, you take the proper precautions, you can ride. Uh, as long as you can deal with the weather, the, the temperatures. Um, I stop. I don't ride when there's ice in the roads. I refuse to do that. That's that's because of my difficulties with my hip and stuff. I mean, I'm not going down and ruining that hip. There's just no freaking way. Um, but I mean, if there's a, if it's just cold, if it's just cold. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying freezing. If it's just cold, I'm riding. Um, this year I probably won't get down too much lower than probably 32 degrees. To be honest with you, with me healing the hip, probably won't even let me get below that. So this year, and so if I don't expect it, if I don't get to it, it's not a, a big loss. And I do do maintenance behind. You see this? This is my garage. There's an alley that goes behind the garage. The services for the for the comp into the garage in. I'm the one of the whole block that does half the alley, snow blowing, salting, to keep it free from ice and snow for so I can ride. Then I go ahead and do half the block and sidewalk. But I, that may not happen this year that whole, as much as I want, uh, that, as I should do it, because well, I'm healing. Um, so I mean, that that's another hindrance I might not get out for. But yet I am hoping. I am hoping to uh, get some, say, new to me stuff for the goat and start, uh, give the goat a, a very, very, very slight repair and uh, maybe a, a very, very slight face change. I'm not too sure about the face change, um, but I'm gonna be doing some repairing, hopefully. And that way we can, uh, it'll, make, it'll make it a lot better. We'll make it better than what she is now. I know I do have a seep around, there's, a few gasket, uh, valve cover bolt gaskets that are seeping on the goat. I've got to, got to pull the tank off from the plastics and get to those and get them sealed up. Um, but this uh, that can happen well in the winter time whenever I can't ride. And uh, I, don't know, I figure I got heat in the garage. Why not? Why not? But it feels great to be out in my normal. This is my normal setting to me. Um, my audio setup set up. The this is actually my Hero Ford I always use to video it. I got my microphones going, my microphone going. This is my normal. It feel this is my environment. It feels really great. It feels great as can be. Um, but you, <laughs> I think I'd give you those little hints. And I'm talking about after the winter time. After the winter time. Be very, very cautious, cautious at intersections for soot. I mean, I'm talking about the, the leftover gravel, the salt that's built up. It gets in, washed out in the intersection by the intersections and on turns and stuff. Um, they, I mean, they'll, they'll take you down quick as can anything, quick as anything. Be very, very cautious with that. Um, I'm not too sure if the wider tires. I mean, I'd, I'd be grand. If I'd, I think for granted the wire the wider tires wouldn't react so much as the narrow skinny tires. Well most of the bikes have skinny front tires. So I mean it's like uh, be very, very careful. The KLR, they're naturally skinny. It's 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 a, a dual sport. It's half 
It's partially on road, partially off road, so it's got the more narrow tires. Um, so I mean, it, it can get kick out on you. And you gotta lay that bike down, and you gotta you gotta watch that stuff. Be very very cautious. We don't need no, need anybody else down. We don't need anybody down. Say down for the count, you know. But yes, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wind this down and say, uh, hope you all had had a great Halloween last week. And because I won't, because well, this is uh, this is for Saturday, and I hope you enjoyed my riding videos. I mean, uh, I didn't. I did them more for me than anything else, or because I didn't have anything interesting to talk about. And I apologize for that, but it was like I had to get out, and I'm just wanting to take you guys out with me. This is Muscle Mike. Hoping you all have a great week. Signing out.